Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some World of Dota, which is of course made by Panda Life. And we are doing Night Stalker today, the next hero on our list of five new characters. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get right into the game. Alright friends, we got ourselves Night Stalker. Now, Night Stalker has some fun upgrades over here, where you can make him Day Stalker. But unfortunately, this build isn't very good. I just tried it, and it, it feels really, really weak. And so what we're going to do is we're going to save that build. It's it's a funny build. I like the idea of it a lot. And we're going to play it at some point in the future. But not today. Because I think right now it will just be a little bit frustrating for us to use. Because it's just not really good enough yet. Um, but this int path seems cute. Crippling Fear becomes a passive ability. It makes our Crippling Fear scale uh, with magic damage. With int. Right, no. Our, yeah. Here we go. Crippling Fear scales with Int. So as we just kind of become more and more powerful, as we gain more and more Int, our passive AoE silence is just hopefully going to take over the game. That's the idea. Also, we definitely cannot kill that. We are weak right now, though. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a problem. All right, the fact that, the, that it starts in daytime is a bit brutal for us. But okay, it is how it is, right? Uh, we're just going to go ahead and put down some defensive wards while we uh, try to chip away at this big camp. This is definitely a risky kill, but with how weak we are, I feel like this might actually bounce us back quite a lot after we kill it. God, okay, never mind. This is probably... <sighs> I mean, at this point, uh, how does it go? Sun cost fallacy? Right, we are already committed. We're just going to go ahead and go for it. Try and uh, take him down as much as we can. Uh, what are we buying in terms of items? I mean, I think face boots are always nice on Night Stalker. Because you just, you know, become really powerful in terms of... Oh no, don't do this to me. Oh, I was trying to cancel that. Uh, do I just give up on it? No. Oh my god. She's level 4. I'm level 1. Okay. It's not going great. <laughs> I mean, we just... Oh, there's another... Oh, you can't. I, I just... I. Oh, no! What's going on? This is the most cursed game. In a regular game, I would be so happy. Be oh, my God. Because all of these good creep cams... And right now, I am just... I cannot kill him. I'm so weak. I, how? Alright, okay, good. That's that's nice. Thank you. Go away. Go away. You're level 4. I'm level 1. 2. I'm level 2. <laughs> Have mercy. I'm just I'm just a cute little guy. I'm just I'm just an innocent little little man trying his best, okay? Give me a break here. Let's do another crippling fear here. I mean, it's it's got increased damage output. It does a lot of damage for 2 seconds. So, that's sick. I mean, those two seconds sure are impactful. <laughs> oh dear, I don't think I've ever been this far behind in the early game. <laughs> this is this might actually be the single worst early game we've ever had in this mode. Uh, that's alright, this is just going to be a testament to Int Night Stalker's strength. Uh, so, come on, please don't get over here. Just let me kill this. Oh, thank you. Alright, good. So, uh, level this up. It now does, like, 75 damage per second. That's actually, like, really respectable. It's, it's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of damage. It's also just about to turn nighttime. So, um... You know, that sounds good. Extra int will be smart. Oh, this double damage was actually such a blessing. Okay, uh, with this, Hunter in the Night does not increase attack speed, but it does increase our spell arm. So that's good, too. We haven't skilled Hunter in the Night, but, you know, we, we're getting to it. <laughs> we're working on that. <laughs> we're just gonna need to uh, somehow win that early duel here, right? But as long as we manage to pull that off, we'll be fine. So shouldn't it become nighttime soon? Isn't it every five minutes? Am I forgetting something? Mm. 
Is the first arena just like all daytime? Is that how it works? Okay. Snow crepes. Maybe something up here. Mana radiance. I mean, it would be all right. Hello. Well, we do tiny bits of damage. It's really not that bad. Like, I, I'm, I'm kind of being a little mean to the build. It is now nighttime. Oh my god. But we're gonna waste the nighttime with the duels? My precious nighttime is gonna get <laughs> used up in the duels? This isn't great. I'm, that's okay. At the very least, I'll be able to. Oh, I need level two. Uh, uh, sorry, I need uh, another level so I get the spell up. In level seven. Please go away. Please go away. I just, I just want level seven. I'm gonna use this. Hopefully, the attack damage will make a difference. Come on. If I kill this, I need probably one more creep. No, no, we didn't get there. <laughs> Did we just get experience? I want to win this. I think I just get experience. So I get Hunter in the Night. I never get experience, but I think it's fine here. All right. So uh, we get ourselves more, more in. That seems all right. This is 20% spell amp right now. That's actually quite a lot. Alright, we get another W. No resets. And come on, we win this. Nice. I think that's worth it. I think that's fine. Alright, now we're in Int Hero. Dark Ascension does not increase damage. Dark Ascension and Daywalker impose a shield on the hero that absorbs any damage. Shield recovery rate per second, 50. Maximum shield durability, 600. That's actually pretty nice, uh, but I think that got to wait a little bit. So, let's just get a Shiva's Guard. We're going to want a Shiva's Guard, no matter what. And I think it's actually pretty nice right now. It's really solid at stats. It, it, it's like a good amount of armor, right? Some health region is really handy. And... Uh, with the way we are fighting things, this is going to be nice. Now, is is Radiance something we want? That's a really big question, isn't it? Do you want to fight? Okay. So right now we are getting murdered, but I guess it's fine. It's already done. Yeah. I can see this build. I can see this build being powerful once we have the capstone, but holy shit, is it a journey to get there? That's actually like a funny point. We were just talking about this because, as I said, I, I just finished playing with the... Um, W path. Oh, sorry, not W path. Agility path. Sorry, one game on. <laughs> they just start, I just finished playing a game of the uh, agility path. And um, one of the things about World of Dota that's a bit weird, but because there's this like sort of mandatory golden experience scaling, where you always just kind of scale the same no matter what you do. Have you ever noticed how at the end of every World of Dota match, everybody has about the same amount of golden experience? That's not a coincidence. That's more or less enforced by the mechanics. And uh, so because of that, and then also because of the um, just kind of like one-on-one -on -one nature of it, as you have to get through more and more duels, World of Dota is a game that it is fine to have a weaker early game, but a strong late game in. But it's not so fine to have a weak, uh, a strong early game, but a weak late game. And it's a bit unusual, right? You would usually expect it to be the other way around. But in here, oftentimes, you will be forced to actually, you know, take proper late game fights. And that can be difficult if you don't have the proper tools for it. Okay. Run. 
good. Is there another one? No. Tiny? Probably don't. Probably don't. I think that worked out really nicely. All right. So next up, spell ice deal? No, let's just get the spell damage here. That's such a good upgrade. So cheap. More hunts in the night. More spell damage. We we scale with int, not with mana. So we don't need the int upgrades. Oh, sorry, the mana upgrades. Oh man. Sorry, friends. Speaking is difficult right now, it turns out. <laughs> Alright. I think a fast Shiva's guard is just totally fine here. It's a strong item in general, and it works nicely with what we're trying to do. We don't want people running away from the crippling fear. So, this seems totally fine. Also, it's daytime right now? Really? Really? Doesn't look like daytime to me. Alright, take this. Come over here. Nothing. That's worth checking. Those runes can be worth a lot. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. We found that creep at least. Yeah, the question is really that Radiance. Like, is the Radiance... Mm, is the Radiance worth going for? Or is the Crippling Fear going to be enough damage by itself? Because we will get Mana Radiance, probably. I'm not a big believer. I gotta be honest. I would rather have, like, other utility, I think. Oh, this is just not even remotely winnable. Damn, tiny. Okay. Well, we want to get a little bit more farm here if we can. But it's turning out to be difficult. Yeah, Parasma seems better. Parasma, the, you know, Shiva's guard. We don't need Octarine Core either. Like, it's a bit of a different build because it doesn't require the usual spellcasting stuff, right? Since we're relying entirely on Crippling Fear for damage. Void is applied instantly. So, just faster casting, I guess. It's not bad. It's not a huge deal, but we'll take it. This is really the question, right? Radiance would be good for now. It would be helpful in the now. But it wouldn't be helpful once we get our capstone. Or at least not as helpful. Oh, hello. Well, that's good for me. That worked out really nicely. Got a bit lucky towards the end there. Um, probably just get ourselves um, the pupil's gift. That seems nice. Like, honestly, 15 strength and agility is quite a lot. Abaddon versus the Medusa. I'm going to say the Medusa? I'm not sure. Don't know enough about those heroes yet. Increased cast range. So we have Shiva's Guard. I think I'll just get the, um, the Witchblade. We could also get Lightnings. Lightnings wouldn't be too bad. Because uh, this builds into the Gleipnir, which could be alright. No, let's get a Witchblade. Good stats. Bunch of int. It's handy. <clears throat> Is that Wisp item not amazing for you? Plus 30% ammo and reduced day vision? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't like reducing my vision. Also, I don't think it's plus 30% ammo. 30% sounds crazy. I think if it was 30%, I would have taken it. <laughs> I don't like reducing vision. Vision is one of those things where you really don't think too much about it until you're missing it. Yes. But once you are down vision, once you are missing vision, then it really, really, really sucks. All 
All right, I just uh, immediately activated my ultimate, so I have some better control over this area. Uh, where are you going? Up? I'm just going to hope that you go up. So far, still hanging around. So this gives us quite a lot of shield. That's certainly good. Isn't it time for nighttime? There we go, yeah. Oh, fuck. Of course. Alright, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're fine. Frog. <laughs> we shall take the frog. And now this right here scales with our int. Up to 30% of our int, which is actually a lot. I can't win this. I gotta go. No, 30% of our int is actually kind of huge, right? Currently it's only 10%, but we're working on it. <clears throat> Nothing here. I'm glad that we managed to find that one red creep. That makes a really big difference. Okay. Get here. Very nice. <sighs> Tomorrow, me and Mickey, we're going to Düsseldorf, which is uh, a little city that's like around two hours away from where we live. And uh, it's nothing too crazy, but it's got one interesting thing there. And that is that it's got the uh, largest, like, Japan town, which is just like a Japanese centric area with a lot of like Japanese population. Uh, in Germany, I think. Actually, like, one of the largest in Europe, I think. And, you know, Mickey always wants to go to Japan. And going to Japan is just really expensive. <laughs> like, we've done it once before, but it's just not something you can do very casually. But, you know, we've got our uh, wedding anniversary coming up. And I thought it would be, like, just kind of fun to do a little trip together. So, uh, that's where we're doing. That's where we're going. And... Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I've been looking forward to it for a while. Again, it's like one of those things where it's just kind of like nothing special, but it's going to be nice to just get to explore around a little bit and not take it, not not stress too much about things for a little while, you know? I'm actually really looking forward to it. All right, get this. Very nice. Nothing here. That's very good. Look at that clearing. Uh, we probably almost certainly want to buy a hex, right? Mystic staff. We might also want to build Revenant's Brooch. Oh, wow. Wow. That was really lucky. Okay. Not gonna complain about it. So we get status resistance here, which is not that nice. But we'll take it. The fireworks, they are also great. Oh yeah, but that's uh, on a different day. So they have like one big Japan Day event once a year. But that's in June. We might actually go there too. But we wanted to just kind of go on a non-busy you know, day, I guess. On a one non-busy date. So there's really nothing special going on on this first day in Friday, which is when we are headed there. But that's exactly why, why I think it's going to be nice, because it's just no stress, you know. Okay, what about Dagon? I think Dagon is not really good enough. But there are some upgrades for... Oh no, the other one is gone. To be honest, is Edge of Discord just fine? Like, we can crit the damage, right? Like, we can crit the damage over time. I think Edge of Discord might be fine. 
Wind Waker? Oh, we're definitely getting Wind Waker. It's just like Wind Waker is one of those items where I think you don't want to get it too early. Damn, we're just really earning a lot of kills right now. I mean, thank God we're so good at the video game. <laughs> This would have been really difficult if I if I wasn't so extremely talented at the video game. Um, but you know, sometimes sometimes you just got it. You're just in tune with the with the entirety of it. You know what I mean? All right, sick. Titanta versus Abaddon. I don't know. I've been underestimating Abaddon all day, so maybe maybe it's Abaddon. Any of this? Not really. It's just gold. Edge of Discord. Nice. Let's go. <clears throat> go get him. There's Abaddon here with the Curse of Avernus. Damn. Abaddon is nasty. What build is this? Stocks. That's strength. Maybe we gotta do that build. <laughs> Holy. That wasn't even close. And that's a Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter is a strong hero. Tide Hunter is a scary guy. To battle. So that's a little worrying, I have to say. I'm a little concerned about that. Alright, we need just one more level. If we can get ourselves one level, then we'll be fine. Nothing here. Yeah, I'll just use my ultimate. I mean, the ultimate is useful, don't get me wrong, but it's just like not that important, I think. Because as soon as we hit this remaining level, we're going to have permanent uptime on the Crippling Fear anyway. So it's it's just gonna be fine, right? So it seems to be critting. Yeah, see the 85 there. That looks to be a crit to me. You know what I'm really looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to the food. When we went to Japan, the thing I enjoyed the most was the food. Oh, it's so nice. It's been so long since I've actually had some some decent sushi. There we go. We have Crippling Fear permanent. Alright. So if you fight me, you're just permanently silenced. But that seems to be true when fighting the Abaddon as well. So. <coughs> yep. I was waiting for that. Oh, no. Okay. So, with that online, what's next? Hello, Murta. Three, two, one. Oh, everybody's so fast. Nice. Mm. I'm a little unsure if that is going to be enough damage by itself. It's not bad. But it doesn't seem like it would be. Right? It just doesn't seem like it would actually be enough to kill people. But admittedly, we still need to get a couple more things. <laughs> yeah, like I'm thinking an Eye of Scotty might be good. Just make sure that nobody's healing. With Shiva's Guard and Eye of Scotty, we are completely negating healing. And we're also reducing attack speed by quite a lot, to be honest. I also wonder if Spell Eye Steel is good, but we're probably just gonna get Spell Eye Steel here instead of buying it. This is just not. Hmm. Ioscardi is also a bunch of ints, so we're definitely gonna get an Ioscardi, I think. <clears throat> I 
I'm also like, it's just a heart, maybe okay. I know heart isn't really synergistic, but I feel like I just need HP and some health region is gonna be useful. Because we aren't actually that tanky in raw HP. If it comes to that, yeah, we're not that strong. What we could also do, is there any way we can invest enough points into agility? No, right? No. You would need 13 points invested into it. And then you can get Crippling Smile, which makes this a permanent disarm instead of a silence, which would be brutal. And honestly, that might actually be the way to play this. Right? Did you invest exactly 25 points into Int? And then invest 13 points into Agility. But that is tight. That's assuming you get 38 points, and that's not always the case. 40 is the maximum, but you don't reach 40 every game. Not by a long shot. Bloodstone. Yeah, maybe Bloodstone on top of the inbuilt lifesteal. Like the spell inbuilt less spell lifesteal might be alright. I don't know. We've got a Scardi for now. That's definitely gonna be alright. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna need a Heaven Salbert. <clears throat> So that, that was a lot. That was a lot of damage very, very quickly. It's tiny. Yeah, I see. This is just kind of a problem here. Sure, we silence people, but in what way does that actually help? Because they just, like, punch us to death. So we gotta get really good at I mean, we need a Heaven's Albert. Against these heroes, we just we just need a Heaven's Albert. Everybody that's left is an attacker, right? All right, shield. Nice. That's big. That's really really big. All right, more spell I steal. Hmm. This is kind of nice. 20% evasion. Dragonite versus Abaddon. I'm going to say Abaddon. This Abaddon has been terrifying. <laughs> this Abaddon has been an absolute monster. Get Blade Mail. I'm not a huge fan of Blade Mail. I steal amp, right? Deep of duration might actually be worth more for the Heaven's Halberd. I mean, we are doing fine in terms of farming, so that's good. And this build honestly might be much, much stronger in a lobby where there are more casters. Right? I feel like if I was going up against free spell casters instead of free right clickers. This, this could be totally, totally powerful. But it's just unfortunately not the situation we find ourselves in. But Heaven's Halberd should help. And we still have uh, a couple of upgrades we can get, right? And of course, I need to rely a bit more on my ultimate. I haven't been doing too much of that. I always struggle a little bit to kind of like re -my, rewire my brain to think of abilities differently, right? I think of my ultimate as an aggressive tool, as something I use to kill people. But it's actually like a survivability tool now. It gives us a uh, shield, right? It's basically 50 health region per second. The 
Permanent Disarm might be fun in another round. Though I feel like if I go for the Permanent Disarm, I'm going to go up against a lobby that's full of... Uh, <laughs> Full of uh, casters. <laughs> but the permanent disarm, while it is possible, is... That's hard to get. 38 upgrades, that's just a, that's just a lot of upgrades. Alright, we almost have our Heaven's Shield. That'll be good, I hope. Night's procession. The permanent disarm build might be more of one of those theoretical fun builds. But in practice, it's unrealistic, I think. Should pick up my item, but... I mean, there are creeps to be found, right? Take him down really quick. Run, run, run. Stalking. Is AJ build ever any good in World of Dota? Never got it to work. Really de depends on the hero. But yeah, they are very strong agility builds. Nightmare. Very powerful ones. All right, okay, so, hello. Heaven Salburn. I mean, our damage is actually doing okay. And we are tanking okay, too. I think we got him. It's slow and painful, but it is a kill. So, we're not going to complain about it. This one is going to be tricky. Alright. Damage, damage, damage. It's not enough. Damn. It's not that far away. I do want to upgrade my uh, Parasma. I want to get that. Because I need extra int. Extra int is just quite a lot of damage, right? And I think uh, the Parasma also has the difference of reducing magic resistance, right? Yeah, so that would be good. The advantage that agility builds have in World of Dota is that you're just good at using Diffuser Blade. And the Fuser Blade is notoriously the most powerful item. Not by a huge margin. Like, funnily enough, World of Dota is actually pretty balanced. But it's balanced by all of its nonsense. Right? It's, it's a game where everybody can do broken stuff, so that kind of balances it out. But also, uh, something that I really appreciate about World of Dota is that it's kept its damage relatively low. That's a big problem with 1x6, for example. In 1x6, the damage values are all really high. So you just get instantly killed and you can't do anything. And in World of Dota, like, you can survive a little while, pretty much no matter what. Right? Like, for example, right now. Nice. More spell I steal. And just having the ability to survive for a little while makes it so that you can actually take a fight much better. Night's procession. Uh, I think we try. There isn't really enough time to do anything else. Thanks for the disarm, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. I think we would actually have been fine. I think I just got out of range and then my Heaven's Halberd would have gotten him. Bloodstone feels needed. Bloodstone does feel needed. I agree. We get a Bloodstone and... I don't know. Let me go from there. Wavering, unwavering condition is terrible, right? This is nothing. 70 int. 
70 int is actually a lot of damage, right? We'll see. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's your ultimate. There it is. I am taunted? Is that what's going on? Alright, I think we got him. Nice. Alright, spell I steal amp. And we're done here, right? I think we just get armor. Or movement speed. Movement speed wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let's get some movement speed because we're getting rid of boots next. I don't want to get kited. And we actually need to do a little bit of kiting. Blade mail only upgrades into the madness blade mail. I don't want the madness blade mail. What's this? Spirit vessel? What's this do? It deal 40 plus 2% of the enemy's max health as pure damage per second and reduces healing. Additionally, heals us for a percentage of the damage dealt. That could be okay. Ah, it's it's refresher, right? Oh yeah, that's it. That's that's the item. Refresher? Like every time, right? Just refresh. Not yours? Mm, could be yours. You're right. I think Bloodstone is actually not it. Because, you know, I don't know. We do have Spell Eye Steel. We actually have Spell Eye Steel. I think the problem is that we're not killing quickly enough or we are vulnerable for too long enough. Or like too long, if that makes sense. Alright, just kind of getting some hits in. There's somebody over there, which is unfortunate. I can't get up the hill. She does so much damage. Oh. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Flying vision sure is handy. <laughs> We could also just get Hex. Maybe we're overthinking this. Classic? Classic. Yeah. It's also a lot of int, which is what I like about it. I think having a lot of int, you know, increases our damage output very significantly. So... Killer! What are you doing? I prepared her for you. Oh, now you're gonna make me do it. Alright. That's what I get for being nice. Is this Ioscati even good? Isn't the yours better? I like the Hex. I think the Hex is really good. Parasma is good too. Shiva's Guard is good. Spellcrit is maybe sketch, and Ioscardi is maybe sketch. But I think Spellcrit at least is Spellcrit. It's damage. We like damage. Because I would still like a Refresher or a Yours. Mm -hmm. This is a problem. People just running. But that was a lot of damage with one attack. Right? If we hit her once, she kind of dies. Huh. Nice try, bud. Good. Oh, you want two? Oh, 
We've got a shield rune right now. Hmm. Yeah, the shield rune is a problem. Okay, we'll try. Close. It's a worthwhile fight. If I win that fight, then I am probably number one in net worth. And getting to number one in net worth right now would be huge. I mean, of course, we lost. But sometimes you need to take some risks. What's the right thing to do? I could buy a moon Yasha. That gives me movement speed. Moon cheese gives me survivability. I could get refresher instead of Scotty. Backpack the Scotty. Oops. Alright, never mind. I don't want to replace Spellcrit. I think Scotty is worse than Spellcrit. These suck. Um. I don't know. Probably a mistake. We'll see. This dude has so much attack range. I don't know. There was just... It's hard. I feel like there is an item build. I don't know what it is. It's not this. The Parasma was nice. The Parasma was nice. The thing about this build is like, I'm not sure if it's just like slightly short of being good. Or if it's, if my item build was just shit. I think my item build might have just been bad. Like, maybe the maybe the, the point is to go Yule's Octarine Core, and you just, like, Yule's yourself constantly. I can see that being better. Like, genuinely, right? Like, we replace these two with Yule's Octarine Core. Maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. But this one, I would say it's pretty all right. I'm not sure if it's, like, top tier. But I wouldn't say it's bad. It's tricky. Okay. Damn. We tried, though. We tried. By the way, see, this is what I mean with getting 38 this out. I had 36. He had 36. Mort had 39 at the very end there, but, like, yeah, it's difficult. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give uh, the video a thumbs up. I'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.